Reb Scott is a genuine human being who cares, and he's able to really bring deep Jewish learning to the school and bring it in a way that really speaks to every age group. He is equally effective with kindergartners and eighth graders. Reb Scott sees every challenge as an opportunity. During the COVID shutdown, we had to turn to virtual learning. We opened Merowitz in the cloud and every student was inside at their house. And Reb Scott brought the enthusiasm and creativity. He came up with ideas that were so engaging for the students and helped them feel good in a time when people were feeling scared and nervous. He did a prayer service focused on the Matovu, which is about the tents of Israel, and had every student build a fort or a tent in their own home. And we had tefillah on Zoom from their tents, and students got to show them off to each other and had a moment of joy and connection in a time where everyone felt sad and separate. Reb Scott has seen the greatness that this school could become in ways that no one else saw. He really brought a sense of what pluralism could look like, and he brought together conversations on an adult level about pluralism as well. He told me once early on that learning is not about comfort. Comfort is very much valued by this generation of families. People want to feel safe and learning pushes students out of their comfort zone. It pushes conversations that are hard to have and that are difficult. And Rev Scott reminds us that that is true learning. I credit Rev Scott with helping us frame Jewish pluralism as something that will help the future of our religion, of our country, whatever communities our students land in, because they are learning not only to be comfortable with difference, but to talk across difference. Reb Scott has helped our students come to a place where they can be contributors to the betterment of the world.